the Academy is stirring up controversy with the announcement of a new category for achievement in most popular film. I'm Elizabeth Wagmeister, and I'm here with Variety Senior Film and Media Editor Brent Lang, who's been covering the story. Thank you, Brent, for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, now let's just start out with, first and foremost, what exactly does it mean to have a most popular film category? Well, that's a great question, and unfortunately, Elizabeth, it's one that the Academy provided very little detail about. So is there any criteria or any insight on what sorts of films we might see considered in this category? No, the announcement was uh, totally lacking in specifics, but you know, presumably this is basically the best blockbuster award, right? It's a chance for the Academy and, and Oscar voters to honor movies like uh, Black Panther or Avengers Infinity War that, that might not otherwise get an invitation to go to the Oscars. There has been a lot of chatter online with people almost mocking this as the Black Panther category and it does seem like an effort to bring out these bigger stars and to honor these superhero films. So is there any positive side on this that it's giving these blockbuster films a chance to be honored at the Oscars? Well sure I think there is definitely a positive side and that's you know movies are a popular art form so I think it makes sense for the Oscars to, to actually showcase some films that most Americans, uh, most people in the world have actually seen. Mm -hmm. uh, in recent years, you know, films like Shape of Water or Moonlight, really great artistic achievements, not really widely seen. Mm -hmm. But still, there's a lot of critics out there and fans, but professional critics, including Variety, really slamming this move from the Academy because it seems like dangerous territory to delineate between a blockbuster film that might make millions of dollars and an art house film. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, wh why is that something that needs to be celebrated separately? It doesn't necessarily stand to reason that just because your movie was commercially successful, it's, it's not very good. And then I think there's just also this question of kind of, well, what are the Oscars? You know, we've sort of known for you know decades what the Oscars represent. It, it celebrates the best in film, but this almost feels a little like an MTV movie award, you know, kind of like a best kiss uh, kind of thing. Or like a yearbook prize, yeah, exactly. the most popular prize. student, yeah. something yeah. like that. Now the most recent Oscars were the lowest rated telecast of all time. There was still over 26 million viewers, but viewership was down 19%. This is a clear effort from the Academy in wanting to increase viewership so what were some of the other new changes put in place? Well, one thing that the Academy said is that they're going to keep the telecast down to three hours. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, they're going to uh, hand out some awards during commercial breaks. So that presumably means that, you know, the, the editing award, the cinematography award, things like that, that frankly most of us don't really care that much about, uh, might be handed out uh, during a commercial. And other shows do that, like the Grammys do that. Mm, the Tonys. The uh, Tonys yeah. do that. Now, what are you hearing from insiders and from sources about what the reasoning is behind this new category? Well, I get the sense that this was driven a lot by ABC, which broadcast uh, the Oscars. And the network was very concerned that uh, viewership seems to be uh, in decline. And they're also concerned because there's so much more competition right now for award shows. You know, you have. Uh, the Critics' Choice Awards, the Screen Actors Guild Awards, the Indie Spirit Awards, and, and really the big one is uh, the Golden Globes. They're all broadcast, and, and the Globes, I think, has taken a lot of the heat away from the Oscars in recent years. And some of that's just the format. You know, it's a, sort of a dinner, a supper club atmosphere, uh, champagnes uh, flowing very freely. Uh, you can see, you know, your favorite A-lister get a little, a little sloshed. <laughs> and uh, the Oscars don't have that. So, I think they're trying to figure out how can we compete, how can we sort of stay relevant, because we're looking a little stodgy. Right, so they're thinking if we nominate these popular films, then maybe we'll get some more popular stars to That's show up. That's the logic, yes. That's the logic. Okay, now there has been just widespread negative criticism from experts in the industry. Do you anticipate that the Academy is going to have to respond to this? Well, I think they're going to have to respond to it because, first of all, their voters need to know what this new criteria is. Studios need to know how they're going to submit their films. Uh, it's just, it's so typical of the Academy to go out with one of these things, and it's so half-baked, and there's so many more questions than answers, and it's just kind of, you know, haphazard and chaotic and really not very smoothly uh, orchestrated. All right, well, thank you so much, Brent. As you said, a lot more to come here. So for more on this story, make sure to follow Variety on Twitter or go to Variety.com.